It is being called a historic financial investment in Florida's historically black colleges and universities. Governor Ron DeSantis announcing today that he is allocating millions of dollars to HBCUs, which could have a huge local impact for Everwaters College. I certainly am just delighted and so thankful first uh, to our distinguished governor, Governor DeSantis, for this tremendous investment. Edward Waters president Zachary Faison is talking about the $3.5 million investment EWC will soon be receiving from the state of Florida. According to college officials, the additional funding equates to a 72 percent increase, which will be used in many different ways. But in one word, Governor, uh, the word is transformative. This is truly a transformative investment for Edward Waters College. We talk about gap funding. Many of the students that come to EWC, as do also attend the other institutions in this state, uh, don't drop out. Many times they stop out because of financial difficulties. And so this is going to enable literally thousands and thousands of our students to remain in our institutions. On Edward Water College's website, a spokesperson writes that they plan on utilizing the additional support towards bringing new academic programs to the institution, such as computer and information science, forensic science, social work, and the advent of the college's first graduate degree program. When the college's first graduate program launches, EWC can change its name from Edward Waters College to Edward Waters University. This is going to enable literally thousands and thousands of our students to remain in our institutions. And even those that may have left, we can now reclaim them because of this additional support. And so, Governor, we are so mo most thankful for that. Now, the governor's budget also allocates a $13 million increase in state funding for Bethune-Cookman University. That's in Daytona Beach and $3.5 million, an increase for Florida Memorial University, which is in Miami.